What I love about this laneway is it's got this big wall here and a little wall there. That's north, facing north. This is south. So this wall is facing north. That wall is facing south. And look at how much grass and clover and biodiversity is in this laneway. And the only sun it's going to get during the summer months, the height of sun, will be another couple of hours. And then the sun is behind the wall and this casts a shadow over most of the laneway. So shade does not equate to lack of growth. And it is absolutely pumping it out. Dandelions, plantains, clovers, there's red and white clovers. Of course, these guys are growing here, but the sheep love grazing those as well. There's docks, there's bird's foot trefoil. Yes, there are nettles, but that's okay. Are you coming, puppy? Come on, yeah, it's so high, isn't it? Yeah, clever pup. But uh, look at the size of that um, dandelion leaf. So over the years, this here is a, where a lot of the, it would be the deepest shade because it has these hawthorns. It has that branch which shades out all the morning sun. So very hardly any sun comes into this section from about there down to here. You can see there's a little bit of sun there and to there. Then beyond that shadow down to that gate and from here up, it grows again very thickly. But this is also a feeding platform in winter. So incredible uh, amount of grass growing here. And then of course, there's all the scrub plum babies or these are hazel babies. This is a hazel baby. You can see the fuzzy leaves. Then here is a scrub plum baby. So there are all different kinds of variety. There's the plums. And look, there is a plum. Hey, and a ripe one. Yay, yummy. Oh, and another one. Look at that. Another plum. Ooh, even riper. Oh, some lovely plums. Yes, those are ripe too. Those are lovely plums. Now these are not very sweet plums. So, and as you can see, they rot down and start turning into food for fungus. So I'll toss that down. Look at this one. Huge amount of food for fungus on this one. Look at that. Let that rot down. Anyway, this is the orchard laneway. And now we're again in the partial shadows. And look at how high this grass is. Fodder, whatever you want to call it. It's not really just grass. There's orchard grass. There's huge, look at the size of those plantain leaves and clover and, oh, I will put the sheep up here at some stage. I might lock them in this laneway for a couple of hours of really good grazing. Now, into the orchard. Are you coming? Come on. Good boy. Come on. Are you coming? Are you going to come through the gate? Clever boy. I've got to close this. The rams are here in the orchard somewhere in amongst the tall grass and nettles. Those are the neighbors. And you can see the groundwater is getting even deeper. That's now about two foot down. It's really sad. This was our aquifer. Anyway, I just heard an apple go thump. Now I've got to look out for where the rams are so they don't come rushing out of the bushes and tip me over or rushing out from amongst the nettles. 
and tip me over. Not a good thing to have a ram tip you over. But you can see the apples are ripening. Look at that. The apples are ripening. So sometimes the rams are in here. You can see this is their path. Oh, there they are. Yep, I was right. There they are. Hey, boys. They haven't had any interactions with humans for a while. So they're a little bit wary. I've got to come up and strim the nettles before I bring the yews up here so that they can eat the dried nettles. Lots of grass because the rams can't eat it all up here. But they're looking good. Aren't you boys? They're like, we don't like humans. We haven't seen humans in ages. We're not humanoid rams. Well, I mean, they see me, but they're kind of nervous about me. I'd really like them to go into the top of the garden. Hopefully that's where they're going now and I can close the gate on them. <gasps> Yay, perfect. The perfection of gentle herding. Nope, Inca, leave it. I want them to be where they are. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Good girl. So they're down in here and I'll leave them in here and close the gate. And that way the orchard can recover more for when I put the yews up here. Some more branches have been blown down through recent wind storms. Anyway, there's a lot of work up here now. Strimming nettles for autumn grazing. Isn't that right, puppers? Oh, I don't look at the pup. And look at the cat. Are you pretty as a picture sitting on the gate? You heard us coming and waited for us. Yes. A handful of plums. You good kitty. Yeah. Aren't you? And you drinking water. Hmm. Are you going to move? Are you going to move? So that I can come out through the gate? Hmm? Or are you just going to stay on the gate? <laughs> it doesn't work that way. I've got to open the gate. There you go. Oh, and jumped up on there. Okay. Close the gate. There we go. Need new stakes. These are, that one's solid. That one's going. And there are the boys. They're now in this paddock so that the orchard can get a real rest. Not like there isn't plenty of grass in them for here. Clover, herbs, etc. And apples. Apples everywhere. Apples, apples everywhere. Isn't that right, pups? Oh, you're such a cat, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs>